Hey everybody, happy Wednesday to you. Hope you're all having a good day. Um, just a couple thoughts for you today, a couple questions. Um, how many of you have ever seen that commercial, you know, the Pella Window commercial, where there are two houses side by side, and the house on the left has brand new Pella windows, and they, they're being installed by the, the Pella Window experts wearing the bright yellow uniforms, and they have the bright yellow van that says Pella, and the neighbors are just admiring the windows, and they're beautiful and wonderful. And then the house on the left is the same house, but they call two guys. And they got these two guys to put in cheap windows, and they saved a lot of money. And the uh, problem is, the two guys are driving off, and the windows start falling out of the house, hitting the ground. Well, I did a little experiment. My window got busted a few weeks back while I was out traveling. I know the mowers did it, but the mower wouldn't say they did it. They got it mowed, and uh, the people that run the association, the president, the vice president, didn't have the kahunas to make them do anything about it, so I had to pay for it. So I hired two guys. I thought, I'll just see if that commercial's right or not. Well, it's right. You know what? I got my window installed Monday, my two new windows Monday, and uh, they put them in there, paid them the rest of the money. The two guys drive up, drive off, no uniforms, no uh, professional truck, no professional paperwork, just two guys in my new windows, and I think it's over with. Well, today came a driving, yesterday came a driving rainstorm. And I have about, I had about two gallons of water on my hardwood floors on the inside. Water came from the outside through the cracks in the windows. Two gallons all over my hardwood floors. And the guy and the two guys said, hey, we'll come check on it in a couple days. We need to let it dry. We'll check on it in a couple days. Well, anyway, don't use A New Glass USA. A New Glass USA sucks. They're incompetent. They're just two guys that don't know what the hell they're doing. So that's my two cents on that. Hey, don't feel sorry for me. Don't even tell me for a minute. Oh, I'm so sorry. My fault. I called two guys. So. Call Pella next time. Spend a little more money and get it done right. I'm going to fix it myself tomorrow and just tell them to screw themselves. Anyway, okay. Next question. Let's see. What, um, I'm curious, um, what kind of computers you guys use? How many of you are using Apples? I've never used an Apple. I use a, um, a Windows XP laptop, a Dell. And it's been real good. It's been a good computer, but I am thinking for my next computer, I want something lighter, and it's going to be a while before I buy anything. I'm thinking about getting an Apple laptop with a built-in camera. I've gone to the stores and looked at those. Um, I've looked at all the computers with the built-in cameras, and the Apple, the, the megapixels, it's only got like a 1.3 megapixel uh, camera, but it's the, the picture is far superior to the laptops that have a two megapixel camera. And I don't understand that. Why would that be? I don't get it. Maybe someone can explain that. But I'm thinking that I may get an Apple computer. I'm just curious how many of you use an Apple laptop with a built-in camera so I can see. I know a couple of you, but so I can see your videos and, and kind of compare what they look like. And what kind of software are you guys using to edit your videos? I've, I've only used you know basic stuff. I use um, Movie Maker. But um, would like to get something a little better. I'm thinking about getting a Pinnacle, what is it, Pinnacle Pro or Pinnacle Ultimate or something like that. Um, seems to be rated as easy to use and pretty powerful. But uh, let me know if you love that or hate that or if you've got a better suggestion. Um, what else? What else? Um, oh, I've got one other thing. Um, this weekend, I'm going to do something that I think you'll like. Um, a while back, I did a um, I did a video where I went and showed you the movie set, or I showed you the town where they filmed Fried Green Tomatoes, and everybody loved that. Everybody really seemed to like that. And um, so I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do um, I'm going to go visit the sites in Atlanta where um, they filmed uh, Driving Miss Daisy. So if you haven't seen Driving Miss Daisy, it's required viewing. Go uh, buy the movie or uh, rent it or something like that. Especially if you live below the Mason-Dixon line, it's required viewing in the South. Um, I think it was a 1989 movie, um, but I'll tell you more about that this weekend. We'll see some of the sites. It's, it's uh, kind of interesting to see what some of those uh, actual locations are. So we'll do that this weekend, and I hope you guys are, are having, a, having a good week. Don't call two guys to fix anything. Call somebody professional and get it done right. That's my two cents for the day. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.